According to the official announcement, contact had been lost at 6 p.m. Pacific time the previous evening. For some inexplicable reason, NASA had postponed the announcement for 14 hours. The timing of the announcement was odd enough, but things just got stranger and stranger. For the first time in NASA's history, its technicians had deliberately instructed the spacecraft to turn the telemetry off. So when the accident occurred, there was literally no downlink back to ground control so the engineers could ever reconstruct what exactly occurred. There were those who believe that whoever or whatever it is that doesn't want us to get a closer look at the red planet is not in outer space, but here on Earth. The Mars Observer mission may have been doomed before it even left the ground. Hurricane Andrew hit the coast of Florida just about the time the uh, Mars Observer was being prepared for launch. Even though it had been prepared for such an onslaught, technicians checked the probe to make sure that it had not been damaged by the storm. The nitrogen system was equipped with special filters to prevent such uh, uh, dust and debris from being taken into the system, and the cameras were in a separate compartment. In spite of this, bits of paper and dust and debris was found in both compartments. It looked as though someone had swept the floor and dumped the results into the compartments. It's unlikely that Hurricane Andrew would have been responsible for all of this. But why would anyone want to sabotage a photographic mission to Mars? What is there about our neighboring planet that someone doesn't want us to see? What is the secret they're trying to protect? Given the paranoia of the Brookings report, Richard Hoagland suggests several possibilities. One is that we had a previous high-tech civilization here on Earth, which went to Mars, built some stuff, and then collapsed. And only now are we rediscovering our heritage. A second hypothesis is that someone else, someone from far away, hundreds or even thousands of light years from the solar system, came to this system, came to Mars, built a civilization, and left an artifact in the form of a proto-human being so that we would know thousands of years down the line that they, in fact, had touched us here on Earth. Someday we may discover that, in fact, we are the Martians. Assuming for the moment that there could have been a flourishing race on Mars at some time in the distant past, why would they bother to build such huge monuments? Sidonia was probably constructed to communicate something very fundamental. In fact, from the geometry we found, we believe it was designed to communicate a whole new physics, a grand unified field theory, as it were, given to us, communicated even by the Viking photographs, by the geometric layout of the structures. Researchers now believe that the key to understanding the entire Sidonia complex may lie in the geometry of the DNM pyramid, in the size, shape, and position of the massive structure. Hoagland's colleague at the Defense Mapping Agency, Errol Torin, successfully deduced this key object's internal geometry and found it all came down to 19.5 degrees. Why 19.5? On every major or minor planet that NASA has flown by, photographed, or mapped in the last 30 years, there appears to be a major disturbance located just about 19.5 degrees north or south. The Great Red Spot on the planet Jupiter has been viewed as essentially a giant cyclone, primarily presumed to be an atmospheric storm larger than the entire planet Earth that continues to churn for over 300 years of observation at 19.5 degrees south. According to Hoagland, on every planet in our solar system, there seems to be some kind of major geological or atmospheric disturbance at 19.5 degrees north or south, including our own gigantic volcano, Mauna Loa, raging up from the center of the Earth in the Hawaiian Islands at 19.5 degrees north. Does this suggest that the builders of the DNM pyramid recorded in its structure a key to the inner nature of every planet in our system, including our own? Could it be there is a reason for leaving the number 19.5 encrypted in a pyramid? This is a four-sided, four-cornered figure known for thousands of years as a tetrahedron. If you put this structure inside a sphere, such as a planet, it predicts via a hundred-year-old mathematical theory some remarkable physical properties. 
Hoagland claims that if you place a perfect tetrahedron or pyramid within a sphere, such as a planet, so that one tip is at the north or south pole, the other tips will fall at the latitude of 19.5 degrees, the same as the angles discovered in the DNM pyramid. 19.5 is a significant number in the Bible. It symbolizes faith. In biblical numerics, 19 is associated with the most faithful people and the greatest promises in the Bible. The point five of this number represents grace and hope. And that is precisely what Hoagland and his associates have continued to do, hope. So far as anyone knows, the Mars Observer was never heard from again. And there were two more notches to the credit of the galactic ghoul, as a Mars orbiter and the Mars polar lander both failed in 1999. But there was a probe that did make it into orbit, the Mars Global Surveyor. Captain, what's going on? 